Monday. I am so, so happy to see you today. My name is Vasti Mumpoint, and I am the hostess of this show, Vasti's Friends. And we are about to have the best day that you've had so far in 2021, maybe the rest of the year, who knows? Today is a very, very, very special day. My role model, my my person that I like to model myself after more than anybody in the world, Martin Luther King Jr. Today we celebrate his life and his legacy. Now my friends, I'd like you to do one thing, press gallery view if you can, if you're not on there already, and look at all the faces in the room. Those faces are different colors from different backgrounds all around the world. And my friends, what you are about to learn is that was Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream, was to have people that looked had different faces and backgrounds be together as one. And we are today. So we are starting our day off right by celebrating him. So as some of you guys know, <clears throat> I like to start off my shows with a little song so that you guys can get to know my name and I can know some of yours. My name is Vasti. It rhymes with Frosty, yes? Now, the most important thing about this song is that at the end of every single verse, I go like this. And that is your cue to throw up a rock and roll sign just like this and shake it out. Let's see, Henry, can you show everybody what it looks like when I say, when I do the last part, can you throw up a rock and roll sign? Yeah, shake it out, Henry, shake it out, Henry, shake it out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Henry's got it down, yes. Let's go to Lion and, oh, there we go, Rebecca, there you are. Hi, Rebecca. Oh my gosh, Rebecca, who is on your shirt? Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks, that's fantastic. And we are gonna talk about Rosa Parks later. So my friend, as always, you're ahead of the curb in fashion. Our B E C C A, Rebecca is my name. Oh yeah, R B D C C A, Rebecca is my name. I like to sing and play all day. Rebecca is my <gasps> name. Yes. Okay. Next person. Let's see. Who do we have? Jamie. Jamie, look at you. Jamie, you look great. Is that a fireplace going on behind you? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Jamie, where are you from? Where do you live? <laughs> Vermont Street. Vermont Street. You live on Vermont Street. That's great. I love Vermont Street. I live near a Vermont Street here in California. That's great, Jamie. J A M I E. Jamie is my name from Vermont Street. J A M I E. Jamie is my name. I like to sing and play all day. Jamie is my name. Yeah. All right, guys, don't worry. We have so many more shout outs to do in the show, and I cannot wait to say all of your names. It's great. All right, guys, let's start with our first guest, Mr. The Wonderful, the Fantastic, the person who is the coolest ever, Mr. Gilbert Bailey has prepared, us, has prepared this for us. Hit it, maestro. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right, let's get this started. All right, nice little click. Here we go. All right. Good. funky bass line. Okay. Let's get some piano in there. That's nice. Okay, good. I think we get rid of this clicking sound. Get some nice drums. And five, six, seven, and Hey. Uh, uh, uh. Woo. hey! All right, everybody, clap with me. Uh. Yeah! <laughs> Here we go. Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more backwards thinking. Time for thinking ahead. The world has changed so very much from what it used to be. 
we've got to learn about it so we can live happily. Wake up all the children, it's time to learn something today. Open your mind and listen to what I have to say. Cause you're the ones who are coming up, it'll be in your hands. So go on and heed the lesson and learn the best that you can. The world won't get any better, yeah, yeah. If we just let it be, no, 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 no. The world won't get any better, yeah. We gotta change it, y'all. You and me. Alright, just a piano now. Uh, wake up, everybody. Oh, yeah. Wake up, everyone. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Gilbert, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And uh, as always, I'm here with my wonderful friend, Rosie the Keyboard. Can everybody say hi, Rosie? <laughs> Wave and say hi. Hi, Rosie. Oh, she's waving back. <laughs> well, like I said, we are so excited to be here with you this morning because today is a very special day. Does anybody know what day it is? Anybody? Yeah. Oh, Monday? Yes. Well, I guess that's fair. It is Monday. I kind of set myself up for that one. But it's a very special Monday. Does anybody know why it's a special Monday? Yeah, that's right. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. <laughs> yes, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a holiday where we commemorate the accomplishments of one of the most inspiring civil rights leaders in American history. <laughs> now, what's a civil rights leader, you might be asking? Well, America, the country we live in, has been around for hundreds of years now. And a lot of things that have happened throughout the American history have been great. But there have also been some not so great and pretty unfair things that have happened in America. For instance, did you know there was a time that if your skin was black or brown and you wanted to take a ride on the bus, you had to sit all the way in the back, even if there were empty seats in the front? Even worse, if you had black or brown skin and someone who had white skin wanted your seat, no matter where it was on the bus, you had to give it to them, even if you were there first. That's not fair. Well, there was a woman who thought that that rule about black and brown people giving up their seats was just too unfair for her one day. She refused to give up her seat and move when a man with white skin told her to. That woman's name was Rosa Parks. She went to jail for not giving up her seat. And after that, Martin Luther King Jr. and other com community members helped organize the Montgomery bus boycott. They got hundreds of black and brown skinned people to walk or carpool everywhere, work, school, the grocery store, everywhere, until the bus companies changed their unfair policies. And guess what? They won. <laughs> you see, that's what a civil rights leader is. Someone who helps advocate for oppressed peoples within a society. And Martin Luther King Jr. is one of my favorite because of how he made things happen. Martin was a pacifist which basically means he believed in meeting hate and violence with love and peace. And so, to keep spirits high, he would organize protests where people marched together and chanted and sang together. <laughs> you know, Martin Luther King Jr. loved music. Hey, that reminds me of one of the f my favorite songs from that time. Would you all like to hear it? Yeah? Well, that's great, because I'd like to sing it. <laughs> okay, picture this. You're arm in arm, hand in hand with some of your great friends and you're walking down the street to make a statement and make a stand and to make sure that your voice is heard and you sing this. Don't you let nobody turn you round, turn you round, turn you round. Don't you let nobody turn you round. Keep the straight and the narrow way. Don't you let nobody turn you round, turn you round, turn you round. Don't you let nobody turn you round. Keep the straight and the narrow way. So the great thing about a song like this is it's pretty simple. So anybody can learn it and pick it up and do it together. How about we try it? I'll do the don't you let nobody part and you guys sing turn you round. You ready to try? Okay, let's go. Five, six. Don't you let nobody 
turn you round, good, turn you round, yeah, turn you round, don't you let nobody turn you round, good, keep the straight and the narrow way, that's so good. <laughs> I just love that song. I could imagine walking with hundreds of people down the street and just being so invigorated by it. It's such a good one. <laughs> you know, Martin Luther King Jr. really did love music. It's it's kind of like a big thing for him. You know, he was a pastor at Ebenezer Baptist Church and he grew up in the gospel aesthetic. So his favorite singer was this gospel singer named Mahalia Jackson. He loved her. He took her everywhere. She would often sing before Martin would give a speech. In fact, that reminds me of a great story about one of Martin's most famous speeches ever. In fact, it's famous, but he didn't even really mean to, to say it. You know, he well, here's what happened. He was at this big march on Washington and he was at the, the monument and looking out on a huge crowd of thousands of people. And his friend Mahalia had sung before him the way that she did for most of his speeches. And so he gets into the, his speech and he's gets, getting into his rhythm and he's about midway through the speech. And I'll, um, yeah? Hey, hey babe. Hey, hey, hey babe, yeah, hi. Oh, hi everyone, this is this is my wife, Jessie. Hi. Hi, babe, I'm, I'm kind of doing a, a uh, boss to sorry, your sorry, I just came to get Jade. You mean our dog? Yeah, she's here somewhere. Oh my, Jade, have you been here this whole time? <laughs> I didn't even know she was here. Oh my, <laughs> let me. Jade's our papa. Oh my gosh, let me get her. Jade, you made no sound. I didn't even know you were in the room. Good sweet dog. Oh, we wow. Well, I guess Jade must have wanted to learn about Martin Luther King Jr. too. So <gasps> You're she's... talking about Martin Luther King? Yeah, Did yeah. Did you get to the March on Washington? Yeah, yeah. I was and just Mahalia there. Jackson? Well, yeah, no, I was just talking about Mahalia, and I, and I was getting ready to, to, to oh, tell them. Oh, well, tell them, tell them. Okay, well, cool. Well, so like I was saying, Martin was in the middle of his speech, like getting into his rhythm, and he was just about at the apex, and, and all of a sudden he hears a voice from tell over... Tell about the dream, Martin. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was gonna tell them that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Mahalia Jackson, she yells on the side. Tell them about dreaming. Right. Yeah, that, that, that's well, what Well, now I... they know. Okay, yeah, now they, they know. Okay, well, I, I guess I guess you should hear some of the speech. Oh, yeah, you're gonna play the speech? Yeah, I'm gonna play a little She's bit. She's gonna play the speech, I'm, I'm gonna, play the speech. Not the whole, just some with Mahalia and everything. Okay, play it. Uh, okay. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Because I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, this will be the day when all of God's children be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of me, I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims cry. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. Well, she's getting sleepy. Is she getting sleepy? Okay, well, I guess you can take Jade and I'll finish the, the right. my morning with, with Vashti and, and my friends. Bye. Okay, bye Jade. It was good to see you. Oh, my little Man, baby. I really didn't even know she was here. <laughs> Such a quiet dog. As you can see, Martin Luther King Jr. was a great man. Uh, he was a husband, he was a father, he was a pastor, a civil rights leader, and you know, he was just the best, a true inspiration. And I'm so happy that I got to tell you about him today. Thank you so much for joining me, and of course, as always, Rosie! <laughs> and have such a wonderful Martin Luther King Jr. day. Back to you, Vashti. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
<gasps> Donald and Calvin, hi guys. Can you tell me something that you learned just now about Martin Luther King Jr.? Mm, uh, he really actually did have children. I knew that he died because I'm in first grade. Uh-huh. But like, I thought he died before he had children. Oh, yes, that is very important, my friend, because he had children and his dream were for his four children to be judged by the content of their character, not by the color of their skin. What a wonderful world that would be. And that is the world that we are living right now in this Zoom. That's great. I love that insight. Can someone else tell us one more thing they learned about Martin Luther King Jr.? <gasps> Ava, Mason, and Karma. Can you please show me your shirts, please? Let me see these shirts. Dream like Martin, lead like Harriet, fight like Malcolm, write like Maya, think like... <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> and, feel, and revel like Rosa. Ava, Mason, and Cameron, you are 1,000% your ancestors' wildest dreams. You guys are beautiful. So can you guys tell me one thing you learned today about Martin Luther King Jr.? That he wrote a speech that said, I, I had a dream. Yes, he had a dream. That's exactly right. It was one of the greatest speeches ever told. That is incredibly right. Okay. Here is my next thing that we're gonna do, my friends. We are gonna sing, and don't worry, we have more time for more questions a little, in a little bit. We are gonna sing a song called This Little Light of Mine. We're gonna do a little sing-along. And while you guys sing this song, I want you to stand up and I want you to walk around your room because we are gonna act like we are marching together on Washington. We're marching for peace, we're marching for love, and we're marching for equality. So I'm gonna start and then I'm going to sing and you're going to follow me, okay? So here is the only thing you have to learn while you're walking. It's choreography. It's a lot. You're going to slap your legs, one. Then you're going to clap. And then you're going to snap your fingers twice. Yeah? So it goes, this little light of mine. Yes? And we'll do that over and over again. Can somebody show me that? Please, let's see. Victoria is, oh, Vict oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Does Victoria have a crown on? Victoria, you look fancy and I love it. You make me wanna put a crown on too. There, I have a crown on too. You look so good. All right, guys, you ready? So everyone, you're going to march around your room. You're gonna walk around your room and we are gonna sing This Little Light of Mine. You ready? <clears throat> I'll start. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine Yes, walk around! I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Alright, your turn. Ready? We're gonna unmute you This little light of mine Yes, that's right. This little light of mine. Oh my gosh. This little light of mine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Oh yeah. Yes! Ah, uh, don't you love a Zoom sing-along? We're all on different frequencies. It's so great. All right, guys, that was amazing. Can you imagine marching with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people singing that song and the song that Gilbert taught us earlier? It's so great, and it, it's symbolism, and it's beautiful, and it's wonderful. Okay, guys, we have a lot more fun going on, a lot more questions for you, and a lot more things. But before we do that, we are going to play a little dance game. Yes, it's dance party time with Sasha. Sasha was an original cast member of Hamilton, Motown, Rocky, um, another show, My Fair Lady, Oklahoma, so many shows. She's so great. And uh, I act like this is her because she's one of my heroes. Are you ready to dance with Sasha? If you're ready to dance with Sasha, give me a thumbs up to the camera.
It's yes, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sasha. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. This is going to be such a great day, and it's been such a great day already. We've been learning so much about Dr. Martin Luther King and his legacy and what today is all about. I love that we talked about Rosa Parks and the bus, and we talked, and Gilbert sang one of my favorite songs that we're going to do a little dance to today. So, Rosa Parks was a part of integrating the buses, but there was also another group of young people not much older than you guys called the Freedom Riders, and they worked to integrate bus stations. So once you got off the bus, people still had to segregate, and you could only drink from certain water fountains or wait in certain waiting rooms. And even if you were riding with your friend, if you were white and your friend was black, you couldn't wait in the same at the same bench or use the same bathrooms or wait for the bus in the same place, even if you were going to the same places. So these young people got together, they were in school, they were college students, some of them were high school students, and they rode buses together and they sat together on the buses and in the stations to help integrate the bus systems. So in order to keep their spirits up, they would sing songs like Gilbert taught you earlier. So we're going to do a little marching song. They would sing these during protests, they would sing them on the but they would sing them everywhere and they would pass it around and this was recorded by some young people in Chicago and it's the song that we just learned and we're gonna do a little march to it okay so I want you to stand up and make sure you have enough space so like stand up back away from your computer and stretch your arms out and just turn around in a circle and make sure you don't knock anything over. No important papers, important flower vases. Just make sure you've got enough space to move around. Awesome. So all we're going to do is march. Remember we pretended like we were holding hands with our friends. So yeah, we're just going to march together. And the lyrics are, as we sang before, ain't going to let nobody turn me around, turn me around turn me around. Now on the words turn me around, guess what I want you to do? Turn around! So, ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Turn me around. Now we're gonna go all the way around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. I'm gonna keep on point forward. You're gonna keep on walking forward. I'm going to keep on talking. You're going to keep on telling people what you stand for, telling people about equality, and then marching on to freedom land. Mar nod your head, okay? All right, let's try it with some music. Just a quick march. Listen, you hear that? marching and talking and spending time together was a huge, huge part of the movement. And this was a song that I'm sure Dr. Martin Luther King sang during his walks across the Edmund Pettus Bridge, during some of the most famous marches of his career, right? Now, we all know that Martin Luther King was unfortunately assassinated in 1968 really sad. There was a lot of hate and a lot of mean people who didn't want the change that we needed so that we could all be together and love each other. But thank God there were brave, brave people just like you who said, we're going to keep going. We want to be able to spend time together and love each other and have equal rights. So we're going to keep going. And a big part of that were artists who sing songs 
So we're going to learn a dance to a song called Young, Gifted, and Black, which was first written by Nina Simone, who sings lots of great jazz songs. This version is one of my favorites. It's by Aretha Franklin. So what we're going to do is for young, I like to think young means you have a lot of energy and you've got a lot of potential, and that just makes me want to run. So young, run in place. Run in place, young, lots of energy, gifted. We're going to arms up. We've got lots of gifts. We're strong. We're talented. We can do anything. You can do arms up or you can put them on your waist. Like we did superhero. Like I've got lots of gifts and talents. You can do one and then the other. You choose. Dealer's choice. Gifted. And for black, we're going to put our arm in the air in a fist. Now, you may have seen this during protests or on signs. You see a big fist. This is a solidarity fist. It was also a sign for black power. And what it really means is people coming together to fight for equal rights and justice for everyone. So we're going to put a fist in the air, yeah? We're going to nod our head. So we have young, gifted, and black. Nod, nod, nod. Then you're going to wave your arm from side to side. One, two, three, four. Nice. And then she says, that's a fact. And that's a fact. I want you to put your hands on your heart because you absolutely know what that means, right? It's very, very true. Okay, so that's the biggest move we're going to do. Let's practice. Five, six, seven. You have young, gifted, and black. Nod, 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 and one, two, three, four, and heart. Two, three, four. Great. Awesome. Now, when we first start, we're going to do some step touches. Just step touch with me. And then we're going to talk about how there's all the boys and girls, and I want you to wave to them. And then when I tell you, we're going to do our young, gifted, and black move, okay? Step touch. In the whole world, you know. Boys and girls who are young, gifted, and black. With a soul intact. Hands on your heart. Nice. You are young, gifted, and black. Nod, nod, nod. Now, you're going to turn around slowly, make one big circle. It says there's a world waiting for you. So we're going to look at our clock. There's a world waiting for you. Point to the camera, yeah? And yours is the quest that has just begun. So our quest, what we're looking for, our journey in life. So I want you to look for your journey in life. Make one more circle, right? Yeah. So all of that together, we've just done young, gifted, and black. Run, nod, nod, and bounce. Two, three, four, and heart. Turn around and go. One, two, three, four. World waiting for you. Point to the camera, right? And then after that, we're looking. Our quest has just begun. Nice. And then we'll go back to our young, gifted, and black. Everybody ready? All the boys and girls. Hey guys, millions of you. Young, gifted, and black. Nod, 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 bounce. And that's a fact. Here we go again. right there were a lot of people who if not only did they not like the idea of us all being together everyone being equal but they would sometimes try to hurt people 
because they believed differently than them. So again, you had to be with your friends and they would sing songs and we would unite with each other to stay safe and to keep believing for a better world. So this is the march. We're gonna march, but we're gonna get low, low, low. Because sometimes you feel low. Sometimes you feel low. So I want you to march as low as you can go. Can you go all the way to the ground? Oh my gosh, you can't even see me anymore. It's so hard. And then when I tell you, you're going to jump up because you're still what? Young, gifted, and black. Yeah, that's all right. Let's add that part on, okay? Awesome, you guys. That's it. In the whole world, you know. Let's wave to our friends. Millions. Hi, guys. Who are young? together than we are divided. I'm so happy that I had a chance to dance with you guys today and happy Martin Luther King Day. Happy 2021. You guys are the future. You're the superheroes. Yay! Thank you, Sasha. I feel so, so cool. Yes. All right, you guys, how wonderful was that? And let me tell you the coolest, 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 coolest thing about all of this. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. We are all sharing this beautiful, beautiful blue marble called Earth. And no matter what you look like, you can also fight for people who need your help. How wonderful is that? How great is that? We can all be superheroes for each other. And as Sasha did say, you guys are our superheroes and you guys are our future. Yes? There is no difference between me or any of you. I love my skin. I love your skin. Love the skin you're in. It is beautiful and it is gorgeous. And we were born gorgeous, yes? If you love the body you're in, I want you to put your hands in the air and go like this. I love the body I'm in. I love the body I'm in. Yes, yes, yes. That is correct. That is correct, we all do. Now, before we go, my friends, I have one last thing to say to you guys. So, sometimes when you're fighting for your rights or you're fighting for what's good, you can get a little weary and a little tired. But it's important to know that what we're fighting for is for love and brightness and shininess. So the fight can also be full of joy, yes? Because when you're fighting, you're having good things happen and that makes me happy. I don't know about you guys. So before we go, I have a question. Can somebody tell me something that you believe in and that you have a dream about? Let's see. Jalen, and oh my goodness, look at your hair. You look so cute. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Can you tell me what you wanna fight for? In the world? In the world! Yes, the whole wide world! <laughs> what do you want to fight for? You said, you, what would you do with your superpower? Change... 
changed the country and the cities of, and um, fight for civil rights. Oh, that's so great. I love that. Such a great superhero power. Can you guys tell me what you would do? Um, my goal is to fight for women's rights. My goal is to fight for civil rights and women's rights. <laughs> Yes, yes. You guys are awesome. Please remember me when you get older. I'll be the old woman and you can say, hey, I remember that girl and I want you guys to fight for me because you guys are awesome. And let's do Ida and Lucille. <gasps> Lucille, you look great. You're smiling at everything. Lucille, what would you do? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thanks, Lucille. Ida, what about you? Um. <laughs> Get daddy coffee. If you. <laughs> that's a great, that's a great hero. That's a great superhero power to get daddy coffee. And I know your dad. I know he likes coffee. That's a great goal. That's wonderful. My friends, it's a crazy time, but it is a beautiful time, a time for change. And my little, little friends, come close to the camera. If you're about this tall or higher, come close to the camera. All of you come to the camera. You have the power to change the world. You do. How cool is that? And you can do it little ways. Your superhero power, my friends, is just to be kind to the people around you, to listen to the people around you, and to respect and love the people around you, yes? Promise me that you'll always do that. If you promise me that, can you give me a thumbs up? Yes? Yeah, because by doing that, you are helping achieve Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream. That is what he wanted, and you are his dream, yes? All right, guys, before we end, we're gonna unmute you guys all, and we're gonna say, thank you, Sasha. Thank you, Gilbert. And we're gonna end, we'll go on a little bit. Yeah, thank you, Gilbert. Thank you, Sasha. And then you have to say, Fosti is cool. I don't know where that came from, but some, I heard someone say it, so let's just try it. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you, Gilbert. Vasti is cool. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Today's show was sponsored by one of our greatest, 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 greatest partners ever, Kiddo Chicago. So we have friends from Chicago. Thank you so much, Kiddo Chicago. And thank you to the Broadway Podcast Network. We will see you guys soon. Everything that you do today is donated to the Pretty Brown Girls, uh, Girls Corporation. Every single donation. It is not too late to donate. Please visit our page to do so. Every single donation. How cool is that? We will see you guys soon. We're over $500 right now. So let's try to get to 1000 We'll see you guys later. Bye.